racist and a pedophile. You don't know that, you ain't black. What would your message be to President Trump as respected here today? Well, I've already spoken to the president. He's in good spirits, but this is a devastating day for America and an embarrassing, shameful day for the state of Georgia. Uh, we have the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, who is abusing her power and, and weaponizing the Fulton County DA's office against the top political opponent of the President of the United States. And this is what communism looks like. Uh, this, is, this is what happens in countries that we, that we judge and we condemned, but it's happening right here. And this is, this is something that is, uh, it's shocking to me. But, but here's one thing, Fulton County, Fulton County has some of the worst crime in the country. It has the same murder rate as Chicago. There's children that are, that are sold for sex slavery in our state. I met with GEMA last week and they gave me a statistic so I could not believe. A child is sold for sex over 7,000 200 times every single month in the state of Georgia and most of it happens in the city of Atlanta but this pathetic excuse for an attorney is using her position to go after President Trump instead of arresting and locking up child sex traffickers in our state murderers rapists gang members that are linked to the cartel and, and we aren't going to stand for it Thank you, that's your team. Okay. Well, I'm talking about What are you going to tell Kevin McCarthy to endorse Donald Trump? Good question. Good question. We, we're not going to throw her out if they don't, they don't do it in a timely manner. Because he does a lot of fighting the right way. Come on, Tucker, not Fox. Marjorie, your best buddy's not here. Yeah, I'm going to endorse Kevin Trump for the election. You can see him are you Travis? I, you I'm here all day. Oh, that's Travis. Yeah. want to come for the Fox News interviews. Where were you all day? We've been out Marjorie, here since 8 o'clock in the morning. Why is Kevin McCarthy your buddy? We've been out here she's since 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. But she's a Georgia congresswoman. Yeah, she should have been here last night. Yet, right? When is Kevin McCarthy going to endorse President Trump? When is Kevin McCarthy going to endorse President Trump, Marjorie? Laura, that's right. That's right. Oh, but what Americans are seeing is they're seeing the president where we had, under Trump, we had $1.75 a gallon gasoline. We had a great economy. Everyone was making money. The, our, our country was great, and he ended the foreign wars. And so they know what we know what we had under President Trump, but yet the, now we have the Department of Justice and the state VA, and they're arresting him. I'm telling you right now, regular Americans are watching this, and they are just disgusted and they are outraged and so when I'm is Kevin McCarthy this, going to do something about it? When is Kevin McCarthy actually going no, to do something no, about the weaponization of government? Woo! When are the Republicans in Congress going to grow a pair of balls and actually start defunding these law enforcement agencies and the corrupt DOJ? Are we just going to sit here and praise Kevin McCarthy like you do all the time? And, and like I said, I mean people in my district are having a really hard time. They barely made it through the COVID lockdown. So many small businesses and so many people lost their jobs. And senior citizens. Where is Kevin McCarthy going to endorse President Trump? We the people like an answer. They cannot afford food. They can't afford to pay their rent. Marjorie, when is Kevin McCarthy going to endorse President Trump? are shocked at what they're seeing in America because everyone in your country and the rest of the world knows that this is not the America that they've always known. And you want to know something? I'm going to tell you right now. This is not the America that I've always known either. And I stand with President Trump, um, and I will do everything I can to end this witch hunt and end the weaponized government. So this is less about justice than more about No, this you lied about justice. releasing the January 6th tapes, right? We've heard that lie before. She wants to talk about how she wants to end the weaponized government, and yet she lied with Kevin McCarthy and said that they released the January 6th tapes, but she never did. And I can tell you right now, I've traveled I, I the country agree, all the time. I've talked to people so because the Democrat <laughs> not just Republicans, independents and Democrats too. And they all know what exactly what this is yeah. we want President Trump yeah. back. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright, we're going this way. Excuse us guys. Marjorie, yeah. Marjorie, Marjorie how about Chris Christie? Two minutes. Two minutes, Will Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie, 
Marjorie, I'm going to be on my own. When is President Trump going to ask President Trump? Thank you for staying with me for a while. I love you. She's your biggest fan. Thank you. Marjorie, like the country. How are you? What you doing? I was on NBC News. Can you speak with President Trump today? I'm speaking with the President. Lauren Lewis. Marjorie, you lied about releasing the January 6th tape. Remember when you said that you and Kevin McCarthy were going to release the tapes? You never released the tapes, Marjorie. Why is that? You're best friends with Kevin McCarthy. When is he going to endorse President Donald Trump? When is Kevin McCarthy, your best friend in Congress, going to endorse President Trump, Marjorie? We all want to know. You go, go. You like to talk a big talk on television and social media. Remember when you when you tweeted and you said I was crazy, Marjorie? Marjorie, you're you're right your soul you is calling. You, you decide to show up when the cameras are here, and some of us have been here all day long supporting President Trump. All day, Marjorie. Listen to Laura Loomer. All day. But you're to Laura you're she with. came from Milwaukee. She was at the debate. She didn't need to be at the debate. Every day. The debate was at Tucker Carlson. At Tucker Carlson. No one wanted to watch the Fox News debate. She was an official surrogate. Oh, yeah. Marjorie, where she is should, Laura Loomer? When is Kevin McCarthy going to endorse President Trump? Ron DeSatan. Suck it. Same thing Hillary Clinton Ron DeSatan is a Manchurian when is, candidate. When is, when is your campaign manager, Isaiah Warren, going to be Why held accountable for purchasing the A24 domain and setting Trump up at Mar-a-Lago? Your campaign manager paid for the domain. Yay, 24. Do you know that story? How many people no, know don't. that? We heard an How many people know that? Marjorie Taylor Greene, your soul is calling to He showed up to vote in person in, no, in November of 2020. When he showed up in person, they said, I'm sorry, Mr. Green, you've already voted by absentee ballot. He said, No, I never You're requested faker. an absentee ballot. He I never asked Kevin, Kevin McCarthy. They made does him nothing sign but an tweet. affidavit. When is Kevin McCarthy no going to actually take a stand against the weaponization of government? No, hold on. No, wait, hold on, hold on. We're the only one I know of in the state that hired an attorney for FOIA that information. He protects Kevin McCarthy, who refuses to have more than a They never went and found the absentee ballot in George Donald in Trump. his name. And then they, they let him vote again. So that was two votes for Perry Green. It doesn't matter. Look, look, yeah, if Americans can win. Where no, you want to know something? Stolen elections are an affront on a democracy. So that's the problem. And let me tell you, any Democrat, any Independent, any Republican, any voter should care about election integrity. We should fight for it. There's nothing wrong with wanting our elections to be safe. And let me tell you, no, no, this is, this is, President Trump should not be being arrested for saying his election was stolen. No one's above the law, but, but Bonnie Willis is not above the law either. In our judiciary committee, I cannot wait to see her brought in there. And I can't wait when we take back control. Taylor you want to know something? Is this a country you want to live in? Is this the people that you want to live in? Wait, wait, wait. Where governments use their power to go after their political opponents because this is exactly what is happening. They're using their power to go growing, Pinocchio. That's why we call her Marjorie Trader. And we are going to expose you. the audacity to win the election against Hillary Clinton and they've never forgiven him for it. They lied about Russian collusion. The impeachment hoax number one. Impeachment hoax number two. And now arrest after arrest after arrest. Why? Why are you doing it? Why are Yeah, what about Russia? How much did you just report Russian collusion? Wait, wait, wait. How much did you report Russian collusion? Protecting pedophilia. I bet you reported. Well, your network did. Has your network retracted all of that and said over and over, 24-7, that Russian collusion was a lie? No, NBC News has not done that. Neither has anybody else. Hey, speak the truth. So we're live right now. We're going to need people to back up if we can. If there's a camera. We want to know why you're going to do this. Kevin McCarthy.
Good morning, guys. Everybody, we are getting bombarded by people right now. Marjorie, so good to see you. Probably the people's president right there. People's president. People's president. People's president. People's president. And with that said, Marjorie, so let's talk what was about your ultimate to... goal of coming out here today? What did you want to get accomplished? After, after uh, she told to, everybody not to come, to let's tell Fonnie that. Willis that we will be investigating her under the Judiciary Committee. And so why that did she's you tell everybody not power. to come, Marjorie? You um, this shouldn't out. be happening. The other day, you told uh, people not to come. This is my home state. I care about Georgia, and we we have to stop the weaponized government. What do you think about them going after sitting members in the Senate? Okay, so let's talk about members in the Senate. You know they're going after them. They're indicting sitting members in the Senate. Why did you tell people not to come to put into being here? I've been talking to people here in Atlanta who are from Atlanta who live here, and I asked them, "What is what is the talk like?" on the ground. I don't live in Atlanta. What are people saying here? And they say, is our money being spent? Well, Why? Look, like, no. Look They're at Atlanta. Happy. You know, you know, so I, I grew up in Decatur. Um, and then I moved to Cumming, finished high school up there. Uh, I've run a construction company in the state of Georgia for years. And I'll tell you, uh, being in and around in Atlanta and working here in the city, I've never watched the poor people in Atlanta have their lives made better by government. They're always held in poverty. Um, crime is always bad and, and things don't get better. And I think that's completely wrong. People work hard, they pay a lot of taxes and it shouldn't be that way. And, and you know, even having local law enforcement, they many police officers have quit their jobs because they don't have the support because Fonnie Willis would rather abuse her position as a prosecutor and go after President Trump than go after murderers, go after child sex traffickers, go after rapists, go after the gangs. Um, and you know, and help this city be a better place for people in Atlanta to Georgia live. Sa and that's Georgia that is Senator disgraceful, Moore, Senator, absolutely disgraceful. And you know, uh, again, exactly that's what I was talking to people here in Atlanta Marjorie. about this morning. Why are you, why are you supporting the Atlanta Senator Cole Moore just two days Moore ago, and the Georgia police department in sent out a tweet of uh, the ten most wanted people in the city, and they're all murderers. These are people that they're asking us to look for. That's right. We're here today to put Donald Trump in jail. That's absolutely right, Vanessa. That's a great point. I mean, I bet you'd be asking if any of the people that here live here in these local neighborhoods, free the they would much sixers, rather Marjorie. see Fonnie Willis going after those murderers than actually doing all of this and, and for, to go after the President Trump. In the Georgia okay. House. So, again, your message to the session. district attorney today. Why is, he here? Why is that, Marjorie? She, she's going to be involved. When are you free the Jay Sixers? The thing that's happening in the state of Georgia is October 1st, the state of Georgia is going to be convening a council, and they will be investigating Fonnie Willis and providing oversight in her office. That was Why that was law that had been passed here in Georgia, and that's exactly what they need to do. And then another thing that'll be happening, and this is really important, is our Judiciary Committee is launching an investigation not only into Fonnie Willis, but also other state DAs in their coordination with the federal government, the Department of Justice. And so uh, we look forward to that. You know, President Trump put out this on Truth Social. You come after me, I'm coming after you. We know retribution is coming. Well, I gotta tell you, President Trump has one of the best lists I've ever seen of over who needs to go down. I need to see that list. I'm sure it's pretty long. It's well, let's get him. Let's get him back in the White House, and we'll watch it publicly. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'm senator uh, with my family Lord, and friends. So I look forward he said that, that we're glad to get here. And then, of course, you know, regarding the special uh, session, State, why is that? President Donald Trump. It's a huge day. It's not going to support Cole Moore. It's Cole Moore is trying to hold Brian Kemp accountable. It's like you need to put. And I interviewed him today. He told me that you have to play me again because we are again for yet another bogus indictment. That's right. It's another bogus indictment. We'll probably see more of these. This seems to be the only way to campaign. Right? Arrest President Trump. They think that is actually going to change the election, and it's not because people are suffering in this country. And the presidential election is not about a popularity contest. It's not about who you like. It's about electing the man that will bring back the right policies for our country and help America. So go tell Kevin McCarthy to endorse him. Your best buddy, Marjorie. Go tell Kevin McCarthy. You know the guy that you killed for the Speaker of the House? Should we go to the next indictment? Or should we stay here? What happened to the Jewish state pedophile Milo Yiannopoulos? Marjorie, Kevin McCarthy is a rhino. Stop supporting him. No. Why do you have pedophile Milo Yiannopoulos on your staff, Marjorie? What are you doing? He's supporting the federal government. He's a gay pedophile. Come on, Marjorie. You like to talk a bunch of shit online, but when you're asked in person, you want to run and hide, Marjorie. Why is it that everybody just wants to fawn over Marjorie instead of actually holding her accountable? Her own tweet, if you go and pull up her tweet this last week, she told people, don't go to the Fulton County Jail, we'll show up at the ballot box. She's trying to suppress support for President Trump, and then after she got called out today, including by the state state representative from Georgia, uh, Colton Moore, who I asked, I interviewed Colton today. He's the only Republican legislature who is calling for a special session so that they can try to fire this corrupt uh, district attorney under the new legislation that Brian Kemp side, which allows the governor of Georgia to remove corrupt Somebody. district attorneys. And yet, when I asked Colin, hey, has Marjorie Taylor uh -oh, Greene, uh -oh, a, a very uh, well-known member of Congress from Georgia, offered to help you? She's he said, oh, well, she's not really helping. She said, good job, but that's it. Is she he's just farming helping. votes from Trump, or what's Get going on here? Well, it's really, it's a good question. I want to know, what yeah, is she doing? Because it seems like she's just subversive. What is she doing? Seems like she's sold out. I don't Did know. Did you know, a lot of people don't know this, the, the infamous Mar-a-Lago dinner, right? The one that everyone likes to attack President Trump over with Kanye West. Her campaign manager, Isaiah Wartman in Georgia, used her campaign funds, if you look at the FEC records, to purchase the Yay24 domain the same day of the dinner. She set Trump up. And I heard She's people, the one who set Trump up. I heard people up, saying that something about Miley Yiannopoulos living in her house. Is that true? Yeah, working with her in her congressional office and then going to the media and using these campaign funds to set Trump up at Mar-a-Lago. Who is this Milo guy? Is he this really a gay pedophile? Well, he, he was, he had to, uh, he, he was, he was dropped from, he, had, he was dropped, yes, exactly. He was dropped from speaking at CPAC because of his pedophile comments, yes. And this is the thing, right? She has this guy working in her office, okay? He hates President Trump. He's always, he told the media that he wanted to make President Trump's life miserable the day of that dinner on November 25th at Mar-a-Lago. And yet this is the, this is the guy who's writing her speeches, who's doing her press releases for her, and her own campaign funds were used to set President Trump up. And she's protected by Kevin McCarthy. And nobody wants to talk about it. Absolutely incredible. Kevin McCarthy, when is he going to support President Trump and come out and endorse him? Republicans control the House. Why are they not defunding? Why are they not defunding these law enforcement agencies? Why are they not doing more? All Kevin McCarthy does is post tweets online and then goes on Fox News to talk about it. When is he actually going to endorse President Trump and show that he's in solidarity against this weaponized government by doing 
the bravest thing possible, which would be to tell all the other candidates to drop out and to commit to endorsing President Trump. Sounds like, she it sounds like he's just towing the line. She enables him. She enables him. She enables him. And we know, we know that Kevin McCarthy, okay? We know that Kevin McCarthy has been instructing his donors in California to be having fundraisers for Ron DeSantis, where he's talking about how he doesn't support tariffs on China. This is what Marjorie Taylor Greene supports. Absolutely. And the media doesn't, nobody wants to know why she's here after she publicly tweeted the other day, don't come. She said, don't show up. Why, why would she say that? Why, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would she tweet that? Exactly. If you're really a Trump supporter, why would you tweet it? Why would you tweet something like that if you really support President Trump? It doesn't make any sense. Because she doesn't. And she doesn't like being called out. You know, she likes to talk a lot of shit. She, she attacked me on Twitter, called me crazy, said I was mentally ill. And meanwhile, she's the one that runs for her life. If you're going to talk shit about somebody on social media, actually talk to them and say it to their face. I'm out here. I organized this rally, okay? President Trump reposted the rally flyer that I designed. I've been out here scrubbing my ass off every, all day, every day for President Trump. He didn't repost, and she, he didn't it. And, and she, she, what does she do? She comes here and then leaves? She's not even going to stay for when President well, Trump just likes the is, 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 is arrested? She loves the attention, she and it's time it for up. people to realize it. What were you trying to say? It's a Marjorie Taylor Greene earlier. Uh, yeah, well, Milo Yiannopoulos is this uh, strange gay pedophile who was working on her campaign and living in a campaign house that was financed by her and he ended up buying the uh, yay 24 domain right before he took the uh, trip with Nick Fuentes and Donald Trump to Mar-a-Lago and ate dinner with him and it's kind of telling that Milo Yiannopoulos would use campaign funds to finance something like this because it's actually a breach of campaign finance law and it's a, it's a little weird that Marjorie Taylor Greene would just ignore all of this but I don't know was it your position like where the like she was trying to set him up. But, I, know. I think it was honestly because Marjorie Taylor Greene seems to think that uh, Trump has outgrown his usefulness, and she's one of those social climber types that doesn't care about the people she steps on to get up the ladder. So this is just typical behavior of these rhino politicians that don't care about their constituency.